Hi, right, sweeties. How are you doing? Welcome to Seminar, and thank you all so much for all the love and support. Hope you all are doing it. All right, so I came across this video. I thought that I'd share it with us because this is really like every black person's life, right? So she was saying, why is it that when black people do something that it is overly criticized and that why, like, you know, like a black woman probably owning a business or starting a business, then a black man or a black woman becoming the president or probably running a political, I mean, there is nothing. I don't think this is new. The truth is that black people are the blueprint. Like, you know, you all, all eyes are usually on you. When you are black, you are not alone. You absolutely got people watching you that you probably do not know and the rest of it. Also, remember that I have seen black people who own businesses that are probably I've said that their business is only for black people. I mean, they've got a lot, a lot of like, you know, so many comments, people making videos, criticizing her about that. But that is her choice. That is what she wants. She only wants to say for a particular people. She doesn't want to mix up and the rest of it. And I also want people to respect people's privacy or people's like you know life and all that you must not be everywhere some places are not meant for you and it is left for us to know when a particular thing is not for us or when we are not wanted in a particular place because man if i go to somewhere and i find out that they are giving attitude or they do not want me i just quietly leave so some people can at the same time behave like that let's get into this why is it every time that black people do something is overly criticized like owning a business or running for president of the United States. Every time black people try to do something and become successful at it, all of a sudden, everybody, including our own people, turn into some super moral detective investigator. Digging deep into their history, just trying to find something wrong. An example, Kamala's running for president and all of a sudden, you know every action she's made since her birth till today. You can give me date, times, and quotes of everything she said. Half y'all should be wrong. And y'all say, look, she supports Israel. What is she going to do about Gaza? Meanwhile, for you to find all of the information on her, you use Google, which gives money to Israel. Meanwhile, 10 minutes before, you order some shit from Amazon, which sends money to Israel. You was just at Walmart shopping the other day. Walmart, who gives money to Israel. Yeah, that's right. Amazon and Google signed a $1.2 billion contract with Israel so the Israeli government and military would have access to communication and internet and all that. But yeah, Kamala is the issue. You're funding the Israeli government too when you use the products. You're shocked, aren't you? Yeah, you're no better. Now for other stuff. If a black woman opens up a hair store or something, or makes an app, or does marketing, or real estate. Now all of a sudden, her mug shot from 2004 for a speeding ticket. All around social media, y'all are weird and performative. And we're all doing this on a phone that has a piece of metal that was mined by Congolese children in the mines owned from China, who also owns this app. To be honest, this is some white people shit. Not just white people, but all of this is tied together and all of us have a role in everything that is happening. But this not on black people. This system was built off our slave labor and this is what they chose to do with it. And we are locked in their system that we are not naturally supposed to be a part of. I saw a video and this guy made perfect sense. He said slavery did not end when they say it ended. It ended in 1969, meaning the free labor that we had to give to others. And yet after slavery ended, we were still making nothing. It, it was basically still slavery, even up to the 1960s. That's that part of slavery, but slavery still has not ended prison system is still slavery. I went off on a tangent, but my point is y'all criticize black people that try to do something so much, but nobody else gets this type of treatment. I don't get it. Well, hello there. You know what the worst type of black person is to me? It's the black person that says, I'm not my ancestors. I could have never been a slave. They would have had to kill me. I'm a Harriet Tubman bitch. I'm that Malcolm X nigga. 
I feel like if I drove to a wealthy white neighborhood and went into the publics, that I would find those of you who comment those things in one of those gray aprons that says Whole Foods on the front. Walking behind a perfectly able-bodied white man carrying his groceries that you picked out under his supervision to load them into his vehicle. Because they're not just there for grocery shopping. They're there to get the authentic feeling of the 40s. It's a form of entertainment for them. And after you finish this free labor for this white man because he didn't tip you, you walk back into the store where you make $10 an hour and proceed to get yelled at by your white bosses that it took you two minutes too long to take that white man's groceries out. It took you three minutes. And after you've worked your 10-hour shift and made your $100 before taxes, you sit at home tired, worn out, calling your friends, complaining about your bosses and how bad the white people treat you. you take your shower, you lay in your bed, you pull out your phone and go to whatever social media app you prefer. And you let them know that you're not your ancestors. You could have never been a slave. They would have had to kill you. You're that Harriet Tubman, Malcolm X type. And you get up the next day and go do the same thing six days a week. Working yourself to the bone. And when you get sick, you have to just hotty toddy that shit because you don't have health insurance. Because a hotty toddy is all you can afford with the money that the white man gave you. And on that one day a week that you get off, you can't go anywhere. Your clothes are old, they're in tatters. Thank God that you don't wear those clothes at work because the white man provides you with a tire. That same public shirt and apron that thousands of white people have probably worn before you. Hand me down white people clothes, if you will. At one time, on the only break that you get during the day at work, your 15 minute lunch break, you rush and call your friend, hey friend, guess what just happened? My white woman boss just screamed at me, called me the N-word, and said I'm just as lazy as they say about my people. And after you explain to your friend how you're not going to take no shit like that, you on your Malcolm X, Harriet Tubman type shit, you notice that it's one minute before it's time for you to get back in there. So you hang up the phone without even saying bye and run back into the building where you don't say a damn thing. Not only could you be a slave, you are one. 10 out of fucking 10. This is all I got from this video, 10 out of 10, sincerely speaking. Now, if this is not, she's not lying. I have seen a lot of people that say that I'm, they are not their ancestors. Well, so who are you? What are you? The truth is that everybody is an extension of his or her ancestor, whether you like it or not, whether you believe it or not. Now, some of us are always very quick, right, to not want to say anything or not want to associate with the ancestors or not want to associate, associate with some certain things, right? But you all are very, very much like, you know, overly ready to labor for other people. I mean, she did not lie. And then coming from where she said that our black people are always like, there is nothing black people will do that. I mean, every time black people do something, it's all overly criticized. Uh, I don't think that it's new. It's been there. I mean, when you start a business and you say this business is just probably only for black people or this product is, you know, it's a problem. Starting the business is a problem. I have also remember that there is a young black woman who started a business, a jewelry business. I mean, it's only for black women. I mean, she, there is nothing they did not call her online. But why is it so? I mean, I am this kind of person that I love people that mind their business. I love to mind my business too. I don't have to like, you know, go into where I am not wanted, you know. And other people should at the same time learn something like this, that you must not always be at a particular place at a particular time, right? There are some places that are for you. There are some places that are not for you. So it is left for you to know where you are supposed to be and where you are not supposed to be. It is not like people do not want you in their midst or something, but it is people wanting their own space. So that business, I mean, the lady that got the business, there is nothing they did not call her and all that. 
you know the truth is that they already see black people as a blueprint and the rest of it so and everybody's eyes are on you i mean even when you are coughing and you don't know i mean if you are black you are not alone i don't know if you are not always alone there must be people around looking for a way to know what it's going on around you so i think this is never ever going to end because i do not see it ending anytime soon right everybody wants to be in the business everybody, everybody wants to be in your business everybody wants to know what you are doing but uh, i am of the opinion opinion i am of the opinion that uh, you all can let people be you do not have to over police because i see it like over policing or policing somebody right you know somebody cannot do anything somebody cannot leave without you people having something to say over it yeah so i switching so see you all in my next video bye for now